one week until Putin's elections. This is real look of spring in Russia. Huge piles of snow. Yes, guys, it's not very pleasant, but we survived the winter. And you can see how people are going to supermarket. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you Ashan supermarket. And I think this is the supermarket that Tucker Carlson went to when he was in Russia. Honestly, I visited this Ashan and filmed a video about it half a year ago, before even him. So let's go to Ashan and see what people are buying. Are they happy? Are they sad? I rewatched my video just when I was uh, going here in Metro and I am literally surprised because prices now are very different. They increase maybe 30 to 50 percent. Other Russian vloggers were hyping on Tucker Carlson's interview, but I miss it all because I was uh, moving my apartment, I was doing renovation in my new flats, so I miss the hype. But, anyways, we are all good. Here you can see different stores, you can repair your phone. Buy some jewelry. Very crowded, guys. By the way, today is a Women's Day in Russia. You can see a lot of girls and boys with flowers. Do not forget to give your girl a flower today because 8 of March in Russia is a widely celebrated uh, Girls' Day. So every girl should get at least one flower today. Russian supermarket. It's a French brand. Let's go and get some flowers for myself. So, at the entrance, they always changing the expo here. So when I was here half a year ago in August, it was all dedicated to school supplies and for Christmas and for New Year, it was all uh, dedicated to New Year stuff. They sell Christmas trees. And now look how gorgeous it is. It's all now covered in fresh flowers, tulips. All people are buying some flowers for their loved ones or maybe for themselves. It's very beautiful. It is really big tradition to, for example, if you are studying at school or university, you would bring flowers to your teachers and to your sister, to your mother, whatever girl you have around you. You have to like give a little present and buy flowers. That's why all people, no matter who or women or, or men, they, they buy flowers today. I realized why it is so busy because actually 8th of March is a holiday. It's a weekend for all Russian people. So it's Friday and supermarket is very crowded. So right now I'm in vegetable section. So let's find the cheapest tomatoes and tomatoes we're expensive af let's find the cheapest one so cherry tomato for this small pack it's 219 cheap tomatoes are one dollar per kilo it's probably more expensive than a chicken this price is for half a kilo for this pack so I understand that it is actually a winter or like early spring. It's not a season for a vegetables in Russia, but uh, it's still very expensive. That is what I'm talking about, guys. We do not grow oranges in Russia, but they are still 
less expensive than kilogram of tomatoes. The orange is only 100 rubles. So I would rather buy oranges than tomatoes. Short local cucumbers are 349. Cucumbers 79.90. So to eat um, average Russian salad, you would need to pay more than for a meat. This price is low, but actually it's uh, one piece only. So one cucumber is like almost one dollar, like 90 cents to buy one cucumber. I really like the decorations for um, salad shelves. It's a wooden cart like a farm looking so one fresh salad is now currently 100 rubles which is not pretty bad it's our one dollar for this package one kg of fresh broccoli is 460 rubles being healthy in russia is not very cheap better to eat only kartoshka and bread and maybe a buckwheat so we will leave it here in my previous video I showed you price uh, of champignons mushrooms so this exact pack is now 160 rubles cute mushrooms champignons less than one dollar guys 89 you can definitely tell me guys in the comments that it is still very cheap compared to USA, compared to the Euro. But you always have to remember that Russian average income, it is not the same as in the West. So please think about it. Let's check the price of cheapest Ashan made uh, baguette. I think price is uh, still the same. It's only 20 cents per the short one and only 33 rubles per this big baguette it is very cheap i still um, wondering how they make it so cheap guys wow bread is so cheap 20 and 30 cents per this big bread cheapest food in russia that you can get is probably potatoes as you can see elderly people are trying to get their potatoes it's only 20 rubles per kilo also cheap food in russia is a cabbage only 28 rubles and it's looking pretty good 26.97 we can cook a lot of borscht with this one potato prices didn't change much since last year let's uh, go to fruits cheap ashan bananas are going away very fast <laughs> so they are green but people still try to get their affordable deal no more <laughs> let me show you luxury food for russia so avocados it's food for um, wealthy people. One kg is uh, 450 rubles. No avocado toast, guys. You have to eat borscht while you're in Russia. Borscht is cheap and affordable. Cake section is pretty popular today because people want to celebrate today, the 8th of March. They maybe want to treat families with a fresh cake cheapest chicken that I can find right now is this one called Petrucha you can buy it with discount if you only have Ashan card it's 180 but uh, simple price is 220 a little bit increased since last year and yeah this one is a bit more expensive 232 
One fresh packaged chicken body would cost two dollars. Here is the price. I asked two Chinese guys to participate in my video, but they refused. I really wanted to ask them what are they buying in Russia and what do they think about local prices. So they refused. Not everyone born to be a YouTube star. <laughs> Milk prices are still doing all right. They didn't increase a lot. This brand is Prostokvashino with <laughs> Blue Kitty. I can buy this one. It's uh, 85 rubles. And another popular brand here in Russia is Domik Derevni with um, Russian Babushka. It's called uh, House in the Village. It's uh, 89 rubles, almost. 90 rubles so like a one dollar for this pack it's not one liter it is uh, 90 uh, 930 milliliters they started to make packs smaller so it's not one liter anymore it is uh, 90 milliliters here you can see all milk prices they are different from half a dollar to one dollar i will take I think this big pack because it's a must and it's a time so I need to buy actually food for making Russian blini and milk it is the main ingredient of Russian pancakes of Russian crepes I like to eat my blini with smetana smetana is sour cream in Russia also same brand uh, with um, blue cat you can see he's baking pancakes over here so let's take this one um, it is 70 rubles what else do we need for making beautiful Russian blini first we need some fresh eggs epic Russian eggs we do not have eggs crisis anymore as you can see shelves are very full but prices actually didn't go much down here you can see ashan branded eggs very cheap one is 122 rubles it's the cheapest one you can get this one is cash brand it's a very cheap one like almost uh, i wouldn't recommend you to buy it actually it's very um, poor quality ones you can see even the package is so cheap so Pierwet's not brand eggs it's like one dollar 89 rubles but uh, I will not buy those I want to buy some more high quality ones so Let's check this one. On the package it says white egg from a young chicken. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel because in my next video we're going to eat blini with blue cat and young chicken. People are arriving, guys. Look, I even cannot squeeze in here. I want to choose flowers. I want to buy um, nine pieces. I think those are fresh ones. So let's choose the color. Which color do you like? I, I like this one. I think it's like a orangey pinkish color. Oh no, it's a bit broken. I found one should be very pretty I don't have a vase at home so let's go to the second level of the supermarket I need to buy a simple vase this is what we've got here on a second level in front of me 
is a garden section. You can buy everything to um, plant your dacha or some flowers or whatever. And a big section for kittens and dogs. Hi, little kitty. You can buy a bed for your animal. Of course, um, animal food. I do not want to stop here because I risk to spend here two more hours because the supermarket is so huge. Honestly, I uh, did my shopping here yesterday and to do a big shopping and film the video at the same time, it's very uncomfortable. So today I'm just buying some fresh things and flowers. Oh, people are choosing their vases. So yeah, let's choose a little cute vase. This is how I'm going home from Ashan. I'm taking MCC, Moscow Central Circle. It's above the ground. It is very new and comfortable. If you want to support this video, you can send me little flowers down there below in the comments. I always so happy to read your positive comments. Although some people say that I am very negative on my videos, so I cannot please you all guys. I'm just trying to be very realistic over here. And yeah, your support, your comments, your likes, your all activities help my videos to grow always. Also, you can consider to support my channel financially because uh, my income is only my views and my dear supporters. So you can send me donations or you can become my sponsor. And I wanted to make a little announcement is that Maslinitsa is coming. It's very delicious and authentic Russian uh, holiday. So I will make blini in one of my next videos guys so please subscribe and wait for it it's going to be very delicious and yeah thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video and i'll see you in my next one bye bye